This exercise is about the parity of the Hermit polynomials, i.e. what happens if you replace x by minus x in the argument. And you can show this in two different ways. One of them is just looking at the formula for the Hermit polynomials directly, and the other one is messing around with the generating function. So pause the video and unpause when you've solved this. Let's start with the direct approach first. So let's write down the formula for the Hermit polynomial of order n. So this is a sum of r going from 0 to n over 2 here, sum of minus 1 to the power of r, 2x to the power of n minus 2r, and then n factorial divided by n minus 2r factorial r factorial. So if we replace here x by minus x, then it's pretty easy to see what happens. The, the only thing that happens is in this factor here, you pick up an extra minus 1 to the power of n minus 2r. But apart from that, everything just stays the same. So replacing x by minus x, we have this extra factor here. But otherwise, we still have hn of x. Now, minus 1 to an even power, even if it's a negative even power, that just doesn't matter. That's 1. So in the end, we have that this is equal to minus 1 to the power of n h n x. Okay, so that's the first approach, the direct approach. Just for fun, let's look at the generating function. So the generating function for uh, x and t is defined as exponential minus t squared plus 2tx. And that way, if we expand this as a Laurent series summation from n0 to infinity, we have that this is the Hermit polynomial of order n, t to the power of n divided by n factorial. And the hint I gave you is to exchange x by minus x and t by minus t. Now, looking at that uh, generating function, you will notice that if you replace t by minus t, because of the square, nothing changes. So it's still exponential minus t squared. And likewise, since you pick up a minus sign both for the t and for the x, also here, nothing changes and it's still 2tx. So the generating function x and t is the same as the generating function of minus x minus t. That's very interesting because that, of course, will allow us to solve our problem here. So if we replace x by minus x, we get the following. And then replacing t by minus t, we pick up an extra factor minus 1 to the power of n, t to the power of n, n factorial. So since for these two expressions, the left-hand sides are the same, that also means that the right-hand sides are the same. And that means that since both of them are series expansions and powers of t, that's the coefficient for a given power of t that they should also match. So from that, we can immediately derive again that h and x is equal to minus 1 to the power n h n of minus x. And there you have it, two different ways of proving the same result. Pretty uh, straightforward.